Hey everybody, it's time for another episode of The World According to Rob. That's me right here, Rob. Now we're going to take a look at today's topic. Yeah, that's right, it's my boys right there, Toronto Maple Leafs. In particular, now I've entitled today's episode, Austin Matthews, Tidy Whities, or Boxer Briefs. All right, as we all know, our good friend Austin Matthews took a little bit of heat off of our uh, Prime Minister there, Mr. Justin Trudeau. Justin had his head, but he knows what's going on with that stuff right there. <laughs> Any little black face going on, but allegedly, back in May, our hero, a big boy in Toronto, Austin Matthews, Literally got, uh, allegedly, uh, literally got caught with his pants down. Right there. Now let's talk about that. <laughs> oh, anyway, just to let you know that Don is in fact in the house. Don is in the house. Sharing up some space though with my good friend, Timmy. Yeah, Timmy's in the house as well. I haven't even taken a drink of that yet. I, I need to be getting into that. There, just a minute here. All right, let's get on with it. Austin Matthews. Allegedly, back in May, him and his buddies got together for a couple of soda pops down in Arizona. And allegedly, we're outside, security guard sitting there. Everybody knows the story. Security guard sitting in her car. Somebody goes up, tries to open the door. She gets scared, blah, 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 blah. Allegedly, Austin Matthews' pants fell down, let's just put it that way, and she caught a glimpse of his underwear. <laughs> now, let me tell you something. Anyway, we'll leave that for later. So, apparently this young lady is military trained. She said she was scared. Now, she waited three days, almost three days, before she reported anything about it. You want to know why? In my estimation, the reason why she waited so damn long, oh, said damn, I'm going to watch that there because Don's coming out now. She waited so damn long because she didn't know who the hell he was. She had no idea who Austin Matthews was. It's in Arizona, for God's sake. Arizona, everybody knows, especially the Arizona Coyotes knows how much Arizona gives two shits. Oh, there we go. Get the Don in the house. There, Cleet. <laughs> Arizona doesn't give a shit about hockey. Oh, there you go again. Doesn't give a shit about that. Doesn't give a damn. There we go. Doesn't give a damn about hockey. She had no idea who Austin Matthews was until she got talking to the officials from the building, all right, who informed her of who he was. Oh, now, now my feelings are hurt. Uh, I was scared. Uh, yeah, I was traumatized and all this other stuff. Well, how convenient is that? You didn't know who he was. No, all of a sudden somebody said, hey, you know who that fella is? Huh? He's a highfalutin hockey player from Canada. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a big boy in Toronto. Number one draft pick. Lots of money over there. Now all of a sudden, she wants him charged. And the next damn thing you know, she's probably going to go, oh, I need a settlement. All right, let me tell you this much. Military trained security guard sitting there. Military. If you are trained in the U.S. military, all right, you are not trained to be scared because if something scares you, you're turning around, you're either going to put a bullet in it or it's going to have a red dot right in the center of its forehead getting ready for you to let one fly into them, all right? Scared my ass. There we go. There's that ass. <sighs> If that happened in Canada, if that happened in Canada, somebody got to look at Austin's tidy whities all right? Or if he's wearing tidy whities we don't know that for a fact. They're going to go, yes, Austin Matthews, I saw his underwear. He dropped his pants right in front of me, allegedly. Damn, back in the 80s, I was watching the Edmonton Oilers practice and Wayne Gretzky shrugged me off. He stuck his shoulder up and kept walking. I say that as a badge of honor. That Wayne Gretzky, Wayne Gretzky shrugged me off. Right? Eh. That's a good thing. 
in Canada. But in Arizona, the lady doesn't know anything. The American dream is live. What every American dreams of, right? A high paid, highly paid superstar, sports athlete, or anybody of any kind does anything to, oh, now I'm upset. All right, now I'm gonna get me a lawsuit. That's what's gonna happen right there. Or that's, that's the mindset going on right now. Austin Matthews, feel sorry for the fella. That's the price of fame, I guess, all right? Now, let's talk about three three things here. I think it's three, we got three. The media, jumping all over the fact that A, Austin Matthews lied to his parents. Guess what, none of your business. That's between Austin and his mom and daddy, all right? It's got nothing to do with you. So what he told his parents a fib, who hasn't? Who hasn't had a few soda pops with a friend and done something silly? Hypocrites. Next one, everybody's shooting all, all their mouths off and everything about, about him not reporting it to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Again, none of your damn business. That's between him and the Toronto Maple Leafs. Mind your own damn business, all right? Leave the guy alone. Now, I'm going to finish it off with this. Austin Matthews. I want you all to, to, in the comments, you can guess, all right? And if Austin Matthews watches this, I want to know, all right? The Leaf Nation want to know, Austin, is it boxer briefs or tidy whities All right, that's it for today's episode. And as I said, leave the fellow alone. Leave Austin Matthews alone. Let him work on being the next one. Let him work on bringing that Stanley Cup to the city of Toronto. All right? Y'all have yourselves a great day. Love you. See you, Don. Don, say goodbye to everybody. Bye, Don. Don, I had to use her a little bit. Like I said, Timmy's here. I'm going to finish that up real quick. All right. Y'all have yourselves a great day. Bye now.